This is the story of the Engineering Association of Hawaii and some of its past presidents who have contributed greatly to the development of our state. On May 2nd of this year, 1977, our association will celebrate its 75th year of continuing uninterrupted activity. This is Alonzo Gartley, founder of our association and first president from 1902 to 1906. It was then known as the Hawaiian Engineering Association. The founding members were mostly surveyors, civil, steam, mechanical, and electrical engineers. Mr. Gartley was brought to Honolulu by the Hawaiian Electric Company to become its manager and served with the company until 1910. At the time of his employment, he was an engineer with the United Gas Improvement Company of Philadelphia. He was a graduate of the United States Naval Academy and had served as commander of converted yachts in the Spanish-American War. He was offered and accepted the then princely salary of $250 per month. His first accomplishment here was to have built in 1900 this new headquarters building for the electric company on the gore of King and Merchant Streets. This building still stands and presently is occupied by RCA. This building remained as headquarters for the company until 1927. In 1910, he became associated with C. Brewer and Company as consulting engineer and director, later becoming vice president. He was employed throughout the state for engineering consultation on irrigation problems by the cane and pineapple growers. His hobby was photography, and so fine are his pictures that the Bishop Museum has published a portfolio of his work. Three of his pictures are shown here. Two Hawaiian women. Sacred Falls. the Nu'uanu Pali. For the year 1921-22, John H. Wilson was president of our organization when it became affiliated with the American Association of Engineers as the Honolulu Chapter. And then in 2930, Lewis M. Whitehouse became president for the first year our organization resigned membership in the American Association of Engineers and became the Engineering Association of Hawaii, our present name. It was these two men who contracted with the state of Hawaii to build the Pali Road for $37,500. This picture shows a section taken just over the crest of the Pali on the windward side. It consisted then of 7,600 feet of roadway on a 20-foot bench, and when completed in 1898, it received worldwide recognition as being one of the greatest engineering and construction feats of that day. Fifty years later, when John Wilson was mayor of Honolulu, he signed a bill authorizing the Pali Road to be widened and resurfaced to accommodate automobile traffic. In the year 1930-31, Frederick Ort was president of the Engineering Association of Hawaii. As manager and chief engineer of the Board of Water Supply from 1929 to 1952, Mr. Ort established the principle that the construction necessary to support a utility need not despoil the landscape. This picture of the pumping station at Makiki is just one example of the many which have been built throughout the state. During his years with the Water Department, Mr. Ort perfected the supply and distribution system of Honolulu. 
So outstanding were his accomplishments, he was awarded honorary membership, the highest award of the American Society of Civil Engineers. The principle of maintaining the beauty of the surrounding landscape received national recognition, and now it has become a nationwide practice. In the year 1946-47, Vladimir N. Osipov was president of the Engineering Association of Hawaii. It is not often that in the time span of this man as an architect that one can see such dramatic changes as have taken place at the Honolulu International Airport. The next three pictures are of the landscaping and the new concourse of the present airport, all designed by Mr. Osipo. This facility is in startling contrast to the old airport, where, as John Rogers Field, only occasional landings of eight passenger Sikorskis took place, and now over nine million passengers are handled yearly. In the 1950s, Mr. Osipo was architect for this Diamond Head high-rise apartment building. It was the first building of such height to make use of precast concrete joists. For the past 25 years, the Osipov organization has designed virtually all of the buildings of Queens Medical Center. Just completed are the Physician's Office Building, the University of Hawaii's School of Medicine, and the 800-car parking garage. On the Big Island, all the buildings on the preparatory school campus have been designed by Ossipoff, Snyder, Roland, and Getz. In the year 1950-51, Roswell M. Tao was president of the Engineering Association of Hawaii. His corporation was employed in 1961 by the Federal Aviation Agency to design and stake out the Mount Ka'ala Access Road, seen in this picture. The road, approximately seven miles long, extends from the Mokalaia Plain to the 4,025-foot summit. The design work was done by photogrammetry with checkpoints established on the ground by field survey parties. Design specifications were for a 20-foot roadway, including three-foot shoulders, all on cut with a maximum 18% grade. So precipitous are the slopes that the surveyors, as well as the labor force of the construction contractor, J.M. Tanaka, had to suspend themselves with ropes to do their work. The resident engineer, Walter B. Gibbons of FAA, was required to make field changes to accommodate exceptional conditions when checkpoints did not agree with those plotted. This was due to the exceptionally thick ground cover which blotted out the actual ground level from aerial view. Cuts in some areas were 120 feet high with the five-foot benches cut at every 20 feet of height. The most hazardous phase of the construction was along the Razorback Ridge shown on this slide in the upper left-hand corner where on each side there was a sheer drop of a thousand feet. The job took 15 months to complete with drainage structures designed in the field and a final 12-foot wide blacktop surfacing at a cost of $1,600,000, requiring in all, besides the removal of trees and undergrowth, 600,000 cubic yards of mud, dirt, and rock. This is an example of a most outstanding engineering and construction accomplishment by all individuals concerned. In the year 1958-59, Houghton Sawyer was president of the Engineering Association of Hawaii. When he was employed by Libby McNeil and Liberty as chief mechanical engineer, he designed and supervised the building of these pineapple harvesting machines. There are six completed machines shown here. The design included chassis, drive lines, hydraulic systems, a folding 65-foot conveyor boom, the first of its kind built entirely of aluminum aircraft material. 
with self-contained night lighting system. Nighttime picking is often required as shown here. These machines, the first of their kind, are now standard equipment for all pineapple harvesting operations. So numerous have been the inventions of this mechanical genius that only a few can be mentioned and shown. For the pineapple industry, a straight line pineapple sizing and coring machine, a special high pressure spraying machine, paper laying, field plows, soil fumigation, and fertilizer application machinery. Now in private practice since 1966, Houghton Sawyer and Associates have designed many machines for industry, including a pizza pie crust machine producing 10,000 slabs in eight hours, and this drive for the rotating restaurant in Waikiki, which, with only a fractional horsepower motor, turns the restaurant one complete revolution in 60 minutes with only a 17-second plus or minus variation. In this year, 1977, the 75th anniversary of the founding of the Engineering Association of Hawaii, our president, Ernest H. Thomas, a retired professional chemical engineer, is shown here, third from the left, surrounded by his board of directors. From left to right, Walter B. Gibbons, retired civil engineer, Wayne S. Mitter, professional engineer, environmental consultant, Rijo Hori, professional engineer, board of water supply, Richard Hughes, professional engineer with Frederick H. Kohlhaas and Associates, Wallace Watkins Lane, architect, Lloyd Osborne, retired Pan American pilot, not shown is treasurer Justice Muller, University of Hawaii, Natural Energy Institute. Credit is extended here to the past and present men and women and to the architects and engineers who have made up the membership of our organization, giving service to our state and to the Engineering Association of Hawaii. The foregoing has been prepared as our contribution to this year's Engineers Week, dedicated to engineering as the key to the future.